Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What, uh, what's today? Today is March Monday. 27th, I think. Monday, Monday? March 27th, 1.03 p.m. 2023. We are in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. She's surprising, I know. We are at Deep Creek Campground. And we're going to do a loop. We're going to do, uh, we're going up Indian Creek Trail to campsite 46. 46. Right. And then 59. Then tomorrow night, we're going to go to campsite 59. 59. And then out. We got about four miles today, four to five miles tomorrow, and five miles on uh, Wednesday. All right. So we just got on the trail. We're on uh, Deep Creek Trail. And like I said, we're headed to Indian Creek Trail, which is 0.7 mile ahead. And then we got about four miles to our first campsite or less. Should all be pretty easy tomorrow. We got about a thousand feet of elevation and then uh, up and down. But we don't do, other than that, we don't really do any real elevation on this. There's a lot of people on Deep Creek Trail, but they're just uh, sightseeing. There's a couple falls around here that everybody goes to. So, it's all good. All Is right. Charger? Which one? The anchor charger. Yeah. Yeah, and I got like every cord in the book. So I should have enough cords. Oh, do you get the games? Yep. Okay. Yep, we got a game. We got Yahtzee. And we got some trail game. Did I get that trail game? Yeah. All right, so there's a... Uh, Tom Brady Falls. It is cool, Stu. But that water is good for cold. Is your camera still on? Yeah. We're gonna do a cold plunge one of these days, either whatever day's warmest. We're gonna sit in the river for at least 30 seconds and do Me? a cold plunge. Keith and I do it every time we go. No, you don't. You don't watch my videos. I don't have any shorts. <laughs> Becca didn't bring shorts. Do you have an extra pair of underwear? Yeah. I might just wear those. Well, then what am I going to wear if I get mine wet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's Indian Creek Falls. Pretty cool. I like it. Right. Woo. Okay, we're 0.7 miles in. We are now on Indian Creek Trail. Hopefully we're, our campsite is on this creek. I think it is. So. I'm already tired. It's a lot hotter than I anticipated. So normal, we just have brought shorts. Yes. Let me have brought shorts sleeves, because I almost did it. It's gonna get down to 35 tomorrow night though, so. And only, the highs are only in the 60s tomorrow. It's gonna be a little cooler. Yeah. And we're going up that mountain. All right, so we are, I guess about two and a half miles in. And I think maybe three, three no, yeah, about two and a half. And we are crossing Indian Creek. This is cool. It's a lot warmer than I had anticipated. It's my temperature gauge on my packs is 78 degrees in March. It's very warm. Good thing is, is we got a nice breeze. The wind's blowing pretty good. So and we've gotten away from all the people. Once you get a mile to a mile and a half in, you no longer see people, which is wonderful. When I booked this campsite, there was nobody here tonight except us. Of course, somebody could have booked it by now, but hopefully we will be alone tonight. So we got a little less than two miles till we get to our campsite. What time did we say we'd be there? Like 3.15 is the latest? Yeah, it's 2.20 right now. We'll be there by 3.00. Three. Three. Yeah, probably by 3.00, three, 3.10. Look, this is a tulip tree right here. Big sucker. All right, so 
we got to campsite 46 which is unfortunately not right on the river the river's down there and it's pretty much inaccessible because of all the rhododendron but there's a creek that comes all the way down the side here we got water i got my thing full of water here so it's not the greatest campsite in the world but it's not bad way the heck up there all right so we got our uh this is our campsite it's our fire ring and here's our hammock action i don't have my under quilt on yet there's my hammock becca is uh, all set up and currently reading reading yes Hello. Hello. <laughs> Quite warm. I bet you are. <laughs> I think we're gonna, there's another fire ring up there. I think we're gonna do the fire up there. Because I'm worried about if we build a fire here, the ashes coming and hitting the tarp, which would burn holes in it very quickly. Don't want that to happen. So, already got water. Fixing to get some of that because I'm parched. It is 4.15. We've been here right at an hour. Loving it. Beautiful day, nice and breezy. It's gonna be a fantastic evening. Making all kinds of noise, playing this game, playing Yahtzee. <laughs> and this deer just walks into camp. What? I wonder that to pet it. Insane. Hey! I think she's deaf. Hey! Hey, honey! You don't care a bit. Hey! What? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Come here! Try and walk towards it. It was a cool deer experience we had. As you just saw, most likely. It was awesome. Finally got dark and it felt like it was getting really cold. And honestly, I guess because we just got such a big fire, it's not really that cold. It's nice. Feels good now. The wind has kind of stopped. It's just breezy now, which is actually helping the fire. There's plenty of firewood here. I give this, on firewood, I give this a friggin' nine. It's awesome. Oh, I've been toying with that for years. Thinking about writing a book that uh, kind of grades or scores all the campsites out here. Because it's very hard to find information about the campsites. To where if you, know, you had this book and you were planning your trip and you said, oh, I want to stay at campsite 46, you could look in the book and say, oh, it got a low score for hammocking or a low score for being next to water or something like that. I think it would be really cool. So anyway. Yahtzee for about 30 minutes. While we were playing Yahtzee, that damn deer walked up. That was fun. It was cool. All right, check back in in just a bit. Good morning. <clears throat> it's like nine o'clock. Went to bed at, I don't know, probably got in hammock about 10 30 last night. Had a great epic fire. It was awesome. And then the deer. 
It was cool. Oh, it's a good night. So, it is 44 degrees. Got it chilly. Whew. So let's get down to 34 tonight. See how that goes. No big deal. But anyway. Becca's lazy butt isn't even out of her hammock. Lazy. I was awake before Craig. Just want everyone on this camera to know I was awake before him. <laughs> I'm being conducted in the Hey. Uh, we just had breakfast. The mighty bacon. Oh my God. This is one of God's treasures right there. Look at that. A little pre-cooked bacon. This is tomorrow's breakfast. Had boiled eggs, which is delicious. Got a little, got a little fire going. Warm our bones. Coffee. It's warming up quickly. I already shed the puffy and I'm still hot. So I don't know what the temp is. Let's find out. What is the temp? It is 48. It's gone up four degrees. 48. It's still chilly, but it feels good. The low tonight at the next camp is supposed to be 35. Yeah, that's cold. That's cold. But, so what? We're manifesting that the next campsite is on the river. Yes, I think it's gonna be. I just have positive vibes. I like camping on the river. You can hear the river. It's right down there somewhere. In amongst all that rhododendron. There's our water. All right, I'm we'll checking in a little bit. We're in no hurry today. We got a four mile hike to our next destination. And we're gonna go up right out of the gate, 750 feet. Fun. That's going to be difficult. Yes. Here's Becca taking down her setup. Taking down her top. This is always a wretched process. Breaking camp is the least fun part of camping, but you know, it goes pretty quick. It's all good. There's our little fire. What time is it? It is 10, 10. We are in no hurry. Trying to get out of here by 11, three hours of hiking. We just need to go real slow. <laughs> of course the downhill or the uphill is going to be slow anyway. Yes, it's going to be difficult. Right, we'll check back. Uh, now it's on. Now it's on. All right, we're packed up. It is quarter with 20 till 11. And we're about to get out of here. Leaving a little bit earlier than I wanted. Didn't want to leave before 11. I still have to pack up my chair. Me chair. That's Did it. You have all day. Yep. Probably be at camp in four hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Well, this was right by our campsite and we didn't know it. <laughs> Not even a quarter mile down. Very cool. Wow. Pretty neat. Oh, it's a double bridge. Double bridge. Cool. Look at the deer track right there. Oh yeah. That's pretty fresh. Probably from the one last night. Yeah. All right, so uh, we got to the very top of that mountain. We actually got a signal. Called the old lady to tell her we were alive. And now we're coming down the other side. Cool little stream here with a bridge. Oh, going down is hard on the knees. Lordy. That's cool. Look at that. Brand new bridge, too. At least the rails are. That's awesome.
All right, so we have made it. Well, let me just start with that we got down off that mountain and we got to campsite 57. You didn't vlog there? No, which was excellent. We stopped there and had lunch and it was a really good campsite. It wasn't right on the river, but everything else about it was good. It was good hammocking spots, plenty of firewood. It was a cool place in amongst some hemlocks. So then we started hiking down to our campsite for tonight, which is 59. And we're in the rhododendron forest. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I hate rhododendron forest campsites. This is the campsite. Can't see anything. We're gonna keep going. There's no firewood. It's just, I don't like it. So here's the thing. We got five miles out. There is one campsite, campsite 60 that is two and a half miles down the road. And we're gonna pray that it's better than this. Regardless, we're gonna stay there. And no, my reservation is not for 60, it is for 59, but we're gonna do it anyway. We and haven't we'll seen a single person. Closer to the so, car tomorrow. And then in the morning, we only got two and a half miles out. So much better than five. We're gonna do it because if it's just this crappy, then we're in the same boat, but we're closer to the truck. So, we're going to get on down the road here a little bit and stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right, so we thought it was going to be all down, but we just did a pretty sustained straight up 300 feet. Now we're finally going back down. We've gotten away from the river, but I'm sure we'll join back up with it at Bum God in the Creek where we're staying no matter what. No matter how crappy of a campsite it is. Uh, I don't want to walk another two and a half miles no. to the truck. Ooh. We did four from the camp to camp and then it'll be six and a half miles total walking today. Which is about my limit. I don't like any more than that, to be honest. My feet hurt. This is a great campsite. This is awesome. This is fantastic. So glad we did this. A hemlock forest rules. There's one, there's one way over there too right on the river. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, I like it. Right. All right, so I don't know, we've been here about an hour and a half, maybe two. It rained pretty good on us for the first hour. Eh, maybe 40 minutes. Light rain, but it was enough to get everything wet. But still able to make a fire we made a pine cone fire might need to get a new gopro i don't know what's going on with this thing they're so expensive though are we giving this thing a 10 out of 10 i'm campsite? giving this campsite a 9.5 epic fire epic game of rummy i'm crushing becca by one round it's disgustingly one round for four to three destroying her i mean look at that I'm just about to go out Probably like twos. <laughs> These are my cards right here. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're going to go to bed early tonight, we decided, because <laughs> we're beat. I have about 8.30 in me. It's 8 o'clock right now. <laughs> I'm thinking about 8.30 tonight. Yes. All right, T. We'll see you in a bit. Yes. Well, good morning. It's 32 degrees. It's cold. We got up at about 7.45 and we made some breakfast. This morning we got scrambled eggs and bacon. Yummy. We got Java and we got our bacon. We brought our 
already cooked bacon. Ah, this is delicious. So, there you go. Oh, not the camera. It's freezing. It is very cold. It is cold, but, you know, it's all part of it. Still fun. I love it. At least we've got coffee, bacon, and eggs. That's right. Uh, we are packed up and ready to leave. And this was an awesome campsite. I'm going to give it a 9.8. Fantastic. Great access to water, firewood. It's nice and flat. Hemlock forest. Lots of places to hammock. Just awesome. And only two and a half miles in. This will be a great campsite to just come in for the night. And then boogie out of here. So... Cold, cold night last night, but we stayed nice and warm. Everything was most excellent. I'll check in in just a bit. Look at that waterfall, that's very cool. Oh my Lord, that's beautiful. Wow. Right here by the campsite, we didn't even know it. That's beautiful. Yeah. Let's take a picture of that. That's how I'm going back there. Well, we are back. The last 1.7 miles was all on a maintenance road. We saw these guys this morning at our camp. We forgot to say that. that carrying chainsaws. Carrying chainsaws. So they were trail maintenance guys, and then we saw their truck. Oh, I would not want to carry a chainsaw through what we did. It's very uh, hilly, very. mountainy. I have to say this trip was excellent, beyond belief. It's probably about 52, 55 degrees. It feels great. It feels excellent. We had to stop and strip down to our t-shirts because we were roasting. But. It's all good. All right. Yep, it's always a bummer when it comes to an end. What did we forget on this trip? You didn't bring any shorts. Gummy bears. We didn't bring any gummy bears or fruit snacks. Morning. Yeah, fruit snacks and peanuts. Peanuts, I didn't bring any peanuts. But our breakfast situation was a 10 out of 10. Yeah, hard boiled egg, bacon, coffee. Yeah. So that was awesome. Oh. Well, for another trip in the books, boldly go and Becca. <laughs> Badass Becca. Badass Becca signing off. From, an, from another most excellent trip.